Uh, uh, can we have uh, Mr. Deepak Ravindran on stage? He is the founder and CEO of Innos, which he started in his college dormitory room in 2008 with three other college mates. Innos has been a red herring 100 rater. Deepak dropped out of college with the aim of giving internet uh, to the offline world. It is now the largest offline mo mobile search engine with more than 15 million users. Offline mobile based search engine, 15 million users. Deepak has been named one of MIT Technology Review's Outstanding Innovators Under 35 for the year 2011. He is also an Inc. Fellow and a TED Speaker for 2011. Please give it up for Deepak Ravindra. Our next panelist is Mr. Narayan Babu as the co-founder of Dexetra. Deepak, uh, sorry, Narayan works with a bunch of super geeks to build a very niche mobile suite called Friday. He loves creating stuff, learning languages, reading manuals and Wikipedia. Apart from technology, he loves music, art and really tasty food. We couldn't have Rohit Gupta from uh, Rolo Kuhl with us today. He's had an automobile incident. Thanks, Karthik. Uh, I love Karthik's name, by the way. He has VC in front of him. So good time to take back to him, right? He was giving it to you so far. So again, thanks VC Karthik. So what we'll do is uh, we'll go with a round of introductions, Deepak and uh, Narayan with you, and then you know, jump on to questions. So Deepak, uh, tell us about your story, you know, what has been happening with your life. In fact, I remember meeting Deepak uh, almost four years ago, Deepak, four. He was of the same size then. <laughs> Deepak, over to you. Yeah. Hey. Uh, so uh, I started when I was 16. My first venture was when I was 16. Uh, uh, I was lucky that I was born and brought up in a place called Trishur in Kerala. Uh, the place is uh, pretty interesting. All these folks uh, from Kerala, uh, you know, in sp especially in the place Trishur, a lot of people start up, like the companies like Soba Group and all this thing. So there is a uh, DNA inside the place itself. And there, in fact, there was a Malu movie which launched regarding the same. And uh, so I, I, had, I had a chance to tune into all these stories other than just cricket and Bollywood. I used to li listen and in get inspired about all these stories happening in my hometown, and which was fortunate for me. So when I was, uh, I, I was again uh, glad that my dad gave my uh, first computer when I was 14. And uh, I was just born, brought up in small town and uh, also in a middle class family. But I got computer when I was very young. So uh, in the high school when we were using all this uh, 56k modem, like that deep sound thing, uh, what happened is that a uh, lot of kids want to download games like FIFA and uh, all these games. And uh, they can't. Uh, so they, they, what they do is that they buy these books like Chip and Digit and, you know, get the software games and so on. So what I did is that uh, I I took a small loan from my family. Like I took 500 bucks from my dad and said that um, I want to do a business when I was in high school. And uh, what happened is that I just uh, bought uh, 10 CDs, uh, bought two chip, chip and digit magazines, cloned the entire softwares, and sold to all my friends in school. So I made uh, 1,000 rupees from 500, and I bought CDs, I bought magazines, I also have pocket money to buy cigarettes. So things were safe. And uh, so that that experience itself made me like, you know, yeah, we can do that. And uh, after that movie, Swadesh, uh, which came up at that point, I got inspired again. Like I started a company called Swadesh Solutions. Uh, I was good in designing websites. So I designed a couple of websites my own, like for the nearby uh, people. And, uh, you know, made enough like 20, 25K uh, within a month or two. Uh, this was just uh, just going to before college and uh, and at the high school uh, after passing out of high school I on the vacation I did a site called just for sale dot in which was basically there was no group on at that point and um, eBay so uh, bought uh, basi dot com so I figured out that if mobile phones which are sold uh, offline can brought online with a much uh, cheap deals which makes sense. I was the only employee, I figured out that, you know, I, you know, it was a failure because of the lack of team to continue that. So I went to college to figure out a, pe a group of friends who can work with me. So I co-founded Inos when, when I was, uh, in, I was fortunate again, like lucky I would say. Uh, 
three of my backbenchers of the same college uh, in Kasaragod, Lal Bahadur Shastri College in Kerala. We formed up a team and want to do something on mobile because mobile we all, all knew that everyone was carrying mobile phones. And there was one fine day we were sitting on the college campus because in Kasaragod uh, and especially at our college uh, we got a lot of free time because a uh, lot of hartals and all this shit like uh, politics, all these things happened. So we have a lot of time and we, we were sitting in a campus and looking at a hot chick passing by. Uh, I asked my friend, like, you know, how, how can I invest her? So he said, like, you can Google it. So I said, like, I don't have any Google right now. And uh, uh, what instantly uh, happened to us is, like, we were all carrying normal phones, like 1100, 3310 and all. So he said, like, how about an answer engine over that uh, phone, like over SMS? Because SMS, texting was too common at that point. So that was a eureka moment, I would say. And uh, we, we told our college campus saying that uh, we want to do this business. And, uh, you know, they, uh, my principal, uh, not principal, uh, principal uh, against me, uh, um, HOD, uh, was excited and, uh, because I did websites for college also and, uh, uh, HOD given a space in the college campus, like in the library, we got free Wi-Fi, so we all had, uh, laptops at that point. So we made the entire prototype, like sending, getting any information from the internet, fetching back and sending back through an SMS. Uh, by connecting a mobile phone, a basic phone. And we got a lot of press because like starting up from small town, especially students, we got a lot of media support. Like, you know, we were covered in like a lot of magazines on that point in Kerala. And my mom was like, uh, everyone was happy. Like, you know, and what we did is that we marketed the product. So it became so viral and uh, spread across colleges. And uh, yeah, so that, that that's how Inos was started. And the name is SMS Gyan at that point. And, um, you know, basically it gives you internet over SMS. You can send any queries to double five triple four. That's a number. You can try it now. You can ask about any queries right from the question I asked, how to impress a girl to any questions. You will get an answer. Like weather of a place, deals in a place, everything. And uh, it's, uh, to cut the story short, uh, it's right now the largest offline, offline search. We got, uh, 5 million to 10 million queries per day across all major operators in India, Middle East, uh, Dubai, uh, Africa, all these places we are live. And uh, we have already answered uh, 100 million, uh, sorry, 1000 million queries, uh, 120 million users right now. And uh, I was just checking whether I can just show you the live log actually. Can I just use the internet? To, no. Okay, so you must know that, um, you know, in the uh, Facebook movie, uh, Ma, uh, Sean Parker saying refresh and shows that. So we have a live log at our office which shows a live school, uh, like all the, what people are searching in India, what people are searching in all these places, and the live ticker. So I was just about to show you that. Anyways, you can try it at double five triple four dot in slash live. You can see all the people, queries, and everything. Yeah, so. All right. That's interesting, Deepak. In fact, I remember when I was starting my first company uh, in in US, and my dad, who's in Dhanbad, anybody Dhanbad? Naam suna hai? Dhanbad? Ab to suna hi hoga. So when I told him I am starting the business in Valley, he said, "Utni badi jagah mein kabi successful nahi hoga. Dhanbad a jao." So I just remember because he said Kerala. Anyways, so over to Narayan, and I, Narayan is an amazing. I am actually a fan of Narayan's product. He's an amazing company built out of Bangalore for the global audience. So, Narayan, your story. Hi. Uh, so, actually, me and Deepak are good friends, but right now I realize there's a lot of contrasting you know, characters between him and me. First of all, I'm a little bit taller. And uh, so, <laughs> apart from that, right, uh, so I had a very different, you know, uh, perspective to business. So, my dad was a pa part of the team that developed Param. So I was taught binary first before, uh, you know, this thing, I, I was taught bro uh, Morse code, all the things. So I was brought up in a systematic way. I got my computer when I was in second standard. So I beat you there also. So <laughs> anyways, so, but, uh, but I never, he would never let me, let me uh, do anything like uh, entrepreneurship because he know that, see, uh, for doing something, he needs the business plan, all these things that we need from VCs. It's always there in my home. I have to break the barrier first. So I, I knew it never happened. So, but somehow after my college, so I joined uh, in a Bosch. So I was working with ha Bosch, but not happy, but not because the work was not good, but I always want to do something. So how many of you use your phones when you're in the restroom? How many of you fling your pigs when you're in the restroom? Everybody of you do that. 
so I realize that the phones have penetrated everywhere, right? Even when I make it sitting on my potty, I'm actually playing, you know, Angry Birds. What the hell? So, but what are we doing with the phones? We are just doing four things. We are playing games, we are watching movies, we are social networking, we are communicating. These are four pillars, right? And all these four pillars actually take about time. If you have 24 hours, in 2000, you would never watch a YouTube video, would you? You have a lot more time. Right, right now, you, I, I spend half an hour, at least an hour, uh, watching YouTube videos on the phone, playing pigs, or whatever. So I have a lot of less time using my phone. How can I get back some time? So my goal was to save you 10 minutes a day. If you can bring 10 minutes back on the table, I think I'll give you value. So that's what I started upon. So I actually gathered some of my friends, my Bosch, and some of my colleagues from my college also, to build a product where I realized that the phone is everywhere, and the phone is so smart. The phone I had in my college, I mean, in, when I was in Bosch, since uh, I was working on the blow-up and mobile device, I had always uh, access to good new mobile devices. The phone which I had was more powerful. It had a one gigahertz processor, 5 MB RAM, uh, 8 GB of storage, or whatever. So my desktop was just comparable to my phone. So I thought, why can't the phone be my Friday? Friday as in the man Friday, you know? So we developed a product called Friday. We, we started to develop at least in 2009 this is, when Android was just coming onto the market. The first Android phone was just launching. So we, we started to build a product which would just sit on your pocket and watch what you do. It'll capture your location, it'll capture your, you know, your calls, it'll capture your music listening patterns, it'll capture your people you're talking to, it'll capture battery level, it'll capture your profile, every, every, every single thing that you can capture on the phone. And slowly we expanded that to not just the phone, so we'll just capture any information about your life. So we are basically digitizing your lives, okay? So uh, the problem is there are there's the analog things that happen outside the digital world, the things that you don't post on your Facebook, there are a lot of things happening, like I'm walking from there to my, uh, you know, my uh, maybe my home to this place, maybe I'm uh, running around this place, so I'm spending a lot of calories. All these things are digi not digital yet. So we wanted to bridge that gap, and we want to make everything digital. And it goes into a semantic web, and I can just ask my phone. See, last week I was watching this Dark Knight movie. At that time, I got three missed calls. Can you show me that calls? My phone will tell you these are the three calls you got. And you also got another three missed calls from the same person this week. Or I can just ask how many photos did it take last week? It'll just tell you you took 23 photos. So this sounds a little bit like Siri, right? But much more intrusive. So we were building this like two, three years back uh, since then. And uh, one fine morning, we woke up to this bad news that something like Siri is being launched. That, I think it was last October 17th or something. And everybody was talking about Siri. Siri is the next thing, next big thing, this, that, and all. So I was literally pissed off. Come on, guys, we're building this for two years. Nobody's talking. We went to the VCs and pitched it. Come on, we are doing this. Uh, looks like a sci-fi movie. Do you have a Google engineer in your company? I said, no. Do you have any search PhD guy? No. So I don't think you can do this. So this is the answer we're getting from everybody we're meeting. But when Apple launched this, everybody is talking about it. So we've got a bet that in eight hours, I'll make something similar to Siri in Android, in eight hours. So Siri launched in October 17th or something. On October 18th, on an eight hour hackathon, we created a product called Iris. So, and we, it was just for internal consumption, it's not, not for launching and all. So just a small anecdote. So one of my colleagues so excited, he, he put that you know, screenshot on Twitter. And one of the tech guys saw that, and they wanted to, you know, review about that, write a review about that. So we were actually pitching to tech about Friday all the time. Nobody listened. So when we launched it, Iris people wanted to talk about it. So we just gave him, and suddenly he actually wrote about it. They even gave this product for download. So uh, we had to put it in the Android market. And in the first month, we clocked a million downloads. And in three months, we've had like four, 4.5 million downloads. Right now, according to Vision Mobile's report, after Nuance and Google, we are the world's largest independent private voice assistant company. So, <laughs> and, and the interesting thing is, we are not even building that. I mean, I'm building Friday, but we have been giving this uh, for Iris, and there are only two people working on Iris now. That two, I would say one and a half people working on Iris. So, Iris is the product people know us for, but we are actually building Friday. If you have heard of Aisha phone from Micromax, that's also Iris. Right, I think that's amazing. You know, I'm when I saw the demo first, I got very excited in what he has built, and uh, of course, you know, hats off to the team of uh, you know Narayan who has taken it so far. So I'm going to come back to Deepak. So you, if you look at the contrast between these two gentlemen sitting left to 
whatever left to my hand uh, left to left and left so deepak has built a great product for domestic market sms scan what he call it earlier you know local search queries and he's going to quote similar numbers like narayan by the way number 1 blah number 2 blah right right so let's hear from deepak about the domestic experience in terms of how easy or difficult was it for him to build sms gyan and get in bed with the likes of airtel deepak hey uh so uh what i feel is that uh, see uh, when we uh, we did nothing new right from start we just want to do something ourselves like to improve ourselves and uh, what we figured out that uh, you know for example i didn't had access to internet and that was the time when i thought about how to give an alternate option to get internet and mobile was a direct option and uh, sms was the right fit for us because everyone know how to text right look at the global market 70% people right now in the population use a mobile phone you know how much people use the internet on phone 20% so 56% don't have access to internet we are trying to bridge the gap so that that itself says the, like what we are trying to do in india 1.2 billion people 120 internet plus pc penetration i mean mobile plus pc penetration so lot of gap we are trying to bridge that gap to be exact giving internet to the offline world we are apps like all these apps which don't need to be downloaded that's the biggest thing and uh, so cracking the market so i think persistence is the right way or key way to success what i did is that see i have been pitching see like like the same thing happened like uh, after dropping out of college going to ia accelerator the reason was to go to ia accelerator at that point that we met first time and you know my mom told my family members that my my son got admission in mba in iim ahmedabad that's what she was telling and i went there uh, i dropped out of college which it was against the world i mean from kerala nobody has done it and uh, you know what i felt is that see if uh, these guys like be it any entrepreneurs can do it in the valley it's not about the valley it's about the people who build these companies and make the valley happen right so what we are trying to do is that so we i, I moved to gurgaon because uh, figured out that gurgaon is a place to make business and went to knocking on all the doors like be it airtel be it op any operator so the operators are like on a different board they they like they feel like a close group they don't encourage new startups they say like when i carry the visiting card and give it to them they say like you know no you don't look your company is small you are small we we can't work okay so i was really frustrated like what the i mean <laughs> no so so what happened is that one fine day at the um, you know gurgaon there is a at a big uh, campus there and uh, i went to a coffee shop sitting there um, you know uh, i met a guy who is carrying this atel tag with him like this okay So, so it's the I, same color isn't it kind of like you know airtel it says and uh, he was carrying this yeah. they had the same color again yeah same tag. same color yeah. so he was sitting next to me so i simply pitched his idea he said like you know come and meet me tomorrow at the office i said like okay i mean it's the same thing that we are doing and uh, tomorrow and uh, the next day i went and uh, then he said like you know he want to launch it and i realized this is the head of bharat airtel and that's that's too like you know i think uh, the i was lucky at that point or maybe lucky is when i i got an opportunity and knocked the doors like that that happened to be the first launch with career now all these guys who say no to me first like right now use the product and they have millions of users and now we are trying to raise a billion people right 120 million people are using our service right now 20 120 120 million yeah nice all over the world i mean like africa i mean so the thing is like pretty interesting like uh uh Play, be it any place like you know my mom and dad want to use internet okay they don't use they don't know browser they don't they might have smartphone so see th- these are two phones like nokia and this is iphone so i am not trying to build a smartphone i am trying to make this phone smart that's what i am doing brilliant brilliant so uh, i'll give you 30 more seconds uh, deepak share some more stats about your business so you said 120 million people how many search queries every day it is on hello you you switched it off now it is on hello <laughs> okay uh now the, uh, the 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 track is right now 5 to 10 million queries happening per day last month we got uh, 100 million queries and um, you know this will go up like you know 
people we made indian search okay last audience like you know uh, i know we think other right from i accelerate time so he was asking why google is not making up in india like here double five triple four is the google like baidu in china these are what people want like these the anyone can you just try it out like sms any query like google search a much better than google search i would say it's an answer engine you ask for anything you get answer you can browse a book you can ask about anything kids in small town use it for a passing in exams like you can ask about even you can try at iits okay you can ask about what is the square root of 5 what is the chemical formula of sulfuric acid anything or asmus you will get the answer okay wolfram alpha founder wrote to me saying that 3 million queries are happening he never seen that much traffic per month ever in india and we are doing that through asmus brilliant brilliant so i would change uh, the tone little bit so there is a common mis conception and think uh, one of the questions in the previous one that there are no quality mobile apps from india i don't know how how much truth is there in that statement i want to hear from you guys in what do you think do we have quality apps or not i think at least yes or no it's no maybe no what do you think deepak there are there are yeah okay uh, so i mean why there aren't many quality apps narayan i think uh, india i think uh, for india it's if it is for india is it from india if it's for india, the first one yeah for, for india yeah i think yeah. sms gyan is the best app i would say right that's how the how mature the market is for example if you say friday or iris iris uh, is some somewhat similar to what deepak said in fact we have initially in in in, in between we have collaborated with deepak also for the answers so iris is like siri exactly like i can ask how who killed abraham lincoln whatever thing but you can do it in voice but it doesn't sell in india it sells in us my my uh, i did i does i do many cl- close to a million queries a day and 43% come from us and then spain then uk so india is not even in the picture because the people don't carry smartphones people carry these phones so how would how would, see i I'll, i'll give a simple anecdote uh, i got to meet with one of the guys from nokia top guys from nokia so i asked like what happened to nokia like they were the they have they were 200 billion company in 2000 now they are 8 billion company what happened you know what he told nokia has a great world's one of the best maybe engineering team and the whole team is based out of finland in finland is finland finland in europe okay europe yeah okay. now in finland there's only two months in the year when you have a temperature above zero oh that's why i don't know the name because they don't come out less of the 10 months so. maybe okay so they are they're dressed top head to toe they're wearing two levels of gloves all the dress <laughs> So how the hell are they going to innovate on a touch screen phone? They can't build a touch screen phone at all. No, it's it's not a joke. It's not a joke. This is what happened with Nokia. So they they were so late with the innovation. The same thing is happening with India. How many people are carrying an iPhone? How many people are if Finland was based out of Bangalore or Chennai, they would have invented the touch screen. They have already reinvented the iPhone. Yesterday if you, anybody uh, sat up late night to watch the new keynote of the Nokia Lumia 920 it's a lot better than iphone but they were so late because they didn't realize similarly in india how are you supposed to build the latest technologies when google is giving free gigabit internet to everybody in a city right. here i am finding it hard to get the network in this room anybody no network yeah absolutely please no, i'm just i'm just giving an example yeah so the reality is that if you're not either you should be close to the market or we should have the facilities to go close to the market you don't have either like so that's that's a good answer so i have a follow up question on that you know the topic so if i am an entrepreneur sitting here and i want to build what you have achieved so far you know product out of bangalore for the global masses what the two humps i have to cross i think uh, what we did just different from others i believe is that we went all in we literally and- went all in all in okay all in is just no plan b there's no plan c there's no harness safety harness nothing we in 2009 we decided we're going to build friday there's no market test yet because there was no smartphones we ha- we could play with in fact i wrote the first code for friday when android phone was not released yet i only had the sdk i was testing in emulator wow right and and we we persisted with that people we got lot of offers for when i quit bosch and when he started this bosch came to me and told that Uh, can you take up some of our projects we'll give you pay you like 30 euros per hour 
30 euros per hour is like big, right? So I told no, we are not doing services. We are building Friday because I think I think Friday is the next. He's making a small smarter, right? I am trying to build a smarter phone. Exactly opposite what he's saying. So because I think that the phones today are not doing justice to what hardware it has, what technology it has. It's a cheap imitation of the desktop icons, wallpaper, widgets, dialog boxes. Okay, cancel. No, that's not the way you build a phone. Phone has context. Let me talk about context. So let's bring context onto the phone. When I when I when I open my phone at night, when when I have Friday, when I open my phone at night and press the call button, it knows that since I'm in the bedroom, I'm calling my girlfriend. My girlfriend number comes on the top. Why not mom? It, it's not. I don't call mom at night in bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's a, it's a, it's not a big it's not a big technology. It's very simple pattern matching, right? It, it can be done very easily, but we sh the, the thought process has to come there, right? So that's what we are trying to build with Friday. So we are gathering a lot of information. For the record, we launched Friday a month back. Uh, we have already added 65 million records onto the system. It includes a lot of personal data, like including uh, three to five million songs, eight million photos, 28 million text messages, a, a couple of millions of contacts. So I can actually tap into the system and find, for example, I have come to Mumbai, first time I come to IIT, next time I can just ask Friday how to come to IIT from the airport, because Friday has already recorded the route in the map. I don't have to open Google Maps, I don't have to do anything. The phone automatically remembers whatever you, you're doing in the life. So our ex slogan is, forget to remember, just forget to remember, we'll remember it for you. Good, good. So I think that the very important takeaway, I think I like what he said, all in means Jo hoga dekha jayega, bas ghus jao, or you know, take the, take the leap of faith. Yeah, as they say. so just do it. You know, uh, that's what he did, and that's how so two successful products coming out of it. So Deepak, over to you. So uh, who are your competitors? Actually, I did not hear anybody competing with you. Why is that? Or there are no competitors? Just my case. <laughs> <laughs> I think size matters. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, the good thing is that there is no competitors. Uh, that's a good thing because we are not competing with anyone. We are just competing inside to create more and more innovative stuff around it. And uh, see, you know this blue ocean and red ocean strategies, right? Uh, so the idea is pretty simple. Everyone, be it Facebook, Google, or Flipkart, everyone is on internet fighting against each other. And if you, again, like I mentioned, this is like the small piece of the world who are on internet. And the bigger picture is still those people who don't have access to internet. And that's where we as a company is growing, making money, playing safe, no big deal. I think that's a good position to be in because there's no bloody competition. He just grows whatever he grows and people eat it. I, I think it, it is what, I'll tell you one more thing, sorry. So for Facebook, go to say right now, how much they say, 800 million? 900 million? Probably a billion by now. Yeah, billion. No, they're actually raising 10% every day because huh, the stock is yeah. going down. So as per their IPO sayings, they want to reach next billion people. If next billion people is not there on internet, how do they go? They need to come to us and they will come. Wow, perfect. I think a simple saying that goes that in a business, be the biggest fish in the pond. So choose the pond wisely. So you're a fish, so you can't choose your size. Sitting here, I am having a very serious inferiority complex. Because, this bolra hai, sabse bada admi ye banega. Wo bolra hai, wo sabse bada admi hai. Main jaunga? <laughs> so anyway, let's change topics a little bit. Uh, so let's break for some questions from the audience, and then let's see if we have time left. Uh, Google has a similar service, like uh, your SMS etiquette. So how, how is yours different? Or yeah. Which so, into so, couple of things. One is that uh, we hold a fancy number all together, double five, triple four. Anyone can remember it. And um, you know, Google traffic on that number is uh, 20k per year. Or I mean, I I check get this data from telecom itself. Maybe 20k, 100k, something like that. We make five million per day hit. That's one part. Now Google search, try it out. Try comparing search yourself. Use the both number, even the text web, you can try it out and see the difference. How much 
good it is how much proof is in the pudding so right what is that the proof is in the pudding yeah Which operator you are? Which op Reliance? We don't work with Reliance. <laughs> we work with. So I'm saying uh, we are. Um, we will. They will come. I mean, as in like we tried pitching with them, saying that this is a good product. They said no to us that time, but hopefully, we want this number to be common, and that's one of the key points that we mentioned to everyone who want our service. So they are right now using this number for some other services. So we are waiting for to get other number. So, but I'll tell you, like a lot of things are planned for from now. So we'll, hopefully, you can tune into double five triple four dot in. You will get more details from now, like what we are trying. Actually, he went to Reliance. Reliance said, "Bola ki customers se paisa bilunga, tuj se bilunga." So he said, "Okay, bye bye." Revenue part. Uh, yeah, one more thing. We make. Uh, So last financial year we closed 1.5 million dollars uh, in revenue. This uh, financial year looking at 25 million dollars. That's the revenue figures. <laughs> Lot of things. Operator make revenue. We also make a pie. So one rupee per query. Subscribe to one rupee per day for unlimited search. Every hit is paid. We get revenue. Lead generation, ads. just do the math in mind he said 5 million every day in terms of hits ek rupya per query he has some percentage of it extrapolate over 365 days and i don't know why he is sitting here <laughs> all right uh, any more questions uh friday is work uh, works on android So Iris again is on Android, and in fact, uh, we'll be one of the first uh, applications to come on Windows 8. So right, if you have used Mac, you would have done command space to do searches and do math and stuff. Same similar way in Windows 8, we can actually do a Windows plus F, and you can ask who killed Abraham Lincoln. It'll tell you Don John Wilkes Booth. So you know the same thing comes to desktop. And I'm sure uh, all these you know GPS camera has to be on for being sensitive about the environment. How how long does the you know, the uh, battery last? Okay, this is a question that people always ask me, and in fact, users assume that such a big product, I mean, such a memory intensive product, would definitely drain battery. So whenever the battery goes down, they assume that that's Friday doing. In fact, we have a couple of patents on that. And uh, if you if you are using Friday, if you check the who is using battery, of app will not even come in the list because we don't uh, per se consume battery. We do some technology called piggybacking. Where we piggyback with other apps that you use, and then you know, get a juice out of it. Anybody else? Just curious, where do you store all the information? Is it just on the phone, or do you also have it on cloud somewhere? No, we store everything on the cloud. So, seventy uh, million records, seventy uh, million, I, I, I know, it cannot go on the phone. Yeah. So, So that's what I done. So you have a. You, so you in fact, if you don't carry your phone, if you forget your phone at home, and you then come to your office, you can just log into a Friday website and see if you got any missed calls, if you got any SMSs, all those things. I think uh, there's something else that's similar to this. That's Google now. So earlier, Iris was similar to Apple Siri. Now uh, Friday is similar to Google's now, Google now, but. Uh, I am not seen HTC sense uh, very competent uh, to what we are trying to build. So, for example, my Friday knows my first bank is Citibank, my second bank is HSBC, my favorite food place is Subway, my favorite book place is Landmark, without feeding any information to it automatically by using for one month. All right, uh, I'm going to ask questions now. So, you both of you guys are funded, isn't it? So, 30 seconds, Narayan, your funding experience, how much money, who's the investor? So uh, we raised a seed round from uh, 197 Mobility Vijay Shekhar. That was uh, a week before we launched Iris. When He, was that? What year? Uh, oh, that 2011. Was, uh, 2011. Uh, to last year. Yeah. yeah. Recently, we uh, we closed in a VC round, which is not yet announced, but it's run, it runs into millions from a Valley VC. Runs into millions VC round, three, four million easy, right? Okay, Deepak. It's working. Okay, uh, I started with one lakh investment from three uh, Fs, like you know, friends, pool, family. Uh, added one more F, Freeman, at the accelerator, 
Freeman Murray. And uh, then after that, uh, uh, total of one crore when we raised an angel round. Exited uh, uh, six months back, a uh, seed, seed fund invested in Mahesh Moti sits in board. Uh, between 10 to 25 crores, that's uh, what we raised. Uh, mainly because seed fund have built some brands in India, other than funding. That's the primary. We were positive in cash. We were, you know, profitable. Revenue figures were like, we make, uh, so I told you, like, uh, right now the traffic is, like, we make 10 crores per month, okay? That's a, that's a revenue we make and, uh, you know, we still raise because we believe in people who can really put up the mark. So Mayesh Muthi or Seed Fund as a company has built some successful brand, be it print or red bus. And we fit into the picture, like, you know, it's made for India or made for, like, emerging markets. So, they, they, yeah. Great. Uh, probably last question. Karthik, one question. Yeah, last question. Last question. The guy who has the mic has the question. It's a no-brainer. Uh, he got Deepak's mic. Don't you see some uh, serious uh, privacy concerns building up once? This is what I'll just repeat the question. I think this is big in my mind as well. So privacy concerns because you're collecting a lot of data. So just for the rest of I think of when you. we try to disrupt a market, always uh, uh, this privacy concern. If you see if, when credit cards were uh, in the market, first time nobody would go to the website and log in. It's about, it's about you know, putting a, you know, building a proper trust with the user. Uh, and we are not going to jeopardize uh, whatever we're trying to build just for, by selling this data because we're trying to buy a bigger, bigger vision, which is a lot of, uh, I, think, I think there's a lot of future in this. So, and uh, uh, the data is completely in your control. As I was telling him, if he's going to a brothel, he can actually switch off the location sensor or anything, and it will not go into the system. So, <laughs> uh, it's completely in your hand. You can wipe out the data anytime. You can switch off the sensor anytime, and you can download the data anytime. It's, it's like we buy into the Evernote's policy, the data, three rules of data. The data is yours. It's always secure. It's with you. All right. So, before we end the panel, so we, we three are like, techies, coders, we typically not the guys who sit on the panels. Now, if you really like the panel, just tweet about it so that the next panel, even if it's in Delhi, we're going to fly all the way there. I came from Bangalore, he came from Bangalore, he came from Kerala. No, Bangalore. Bangalore. C3 hours from Bangalore. Uh, for the record, I'm actually from Kerala. We started out in Cochin. So do tweet about if you like the panel so that we have the motivation to do the next panel like something similar to this, okay? So don't forget. Yeah, one more thing. Uh, yeah, this is for you guys. Like, uh, I started something called 100 Rockstars. Dot org. It's uh, basically a Kickstarter. You know Kickstarter, right? Also, so check it out. And there is one more thing: PirateFund.vc. The PirateFund.vc. Inspired by the C Jobs code, why join a navy if you can become a pirate? So we put up funds on technology companies. I made the two announcements of funding. Uh, it's there on Facebook. Like it, tweet it. Uh, going for TechCrunch Disrupt tomorrow showcasing to the world. Thank you. Guys, just as a personal note, that's the sound of me eating humble pie. I remember I came to I Accelerator, what, two, three years ago, uh, through Freeman Mare. And this guy was in I Accelerator two, three years ago. Yeah. I Accelerator was when you dressed like one lakh pre-seed. Three lakhs. Three lakhs, right? And he's a hundred crores now. So that's me eating humble pie. Good job. I think uh, you, you, you affected my mic. Eh? <laughs> no, on a, on a serious note, great job. I think we've had a great mobile round.